Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build my spiral walkway. Now, of course, you don't need it all color coded like this. You can have like checkered patterns and really hurt people's eyes. But all we have to do is click this button and it spirals. <laughs> we walk through it while it's spiraling. Ah. <laughs> now, the reason why I actually built this thing is because I have an actual design that I'm going to be using this for, uh, for something really, really cool. So I want to give you guys an idea of how this stuff works, but it's a pretty simple idea. And if you're wondering if it could go faster on the, on the PC, it can go faster, but on the console, as you can see, the ceiling was kind of disappearing and coming back. So you can't really make it go that fast on the console or else it gets weird. <laughs> so let's just start building this thing, guys. It's very very easy to build this all right guys so this build is obviously not going to be one wide but this is just for the initial redstone setup now of course you can make it go as far as you want you can make it go from one side of the world to the other side of the world if you really want to that's how simple this thing is but for now we're just going to use a one wide area for our initial redstone setup so for this build we're going to need one by eleven and we're going to have to dig down three. So for this build, we're going to need some redstone to put our dust down on. We're going to need, well, some red, yeah, <laughs> some redstone to put our dust down. We're going to need some blocks to put our redstone down on. We're going to need four pistons for the initial redstone setup. If you want to extend it out to 15, you're going to need 60. And if you want to extend it more than that, then you're going to have to figure that out on your own because I'm not going that far. <laughs> we're going to need four redstone repeaters, nine redstone torches, a handful of redstone dust, one sticky piston, one button, one lever, one block, well, not one block, but blocks for your little spiral part right here you know you could use whatever you want rainbow colored uh, tw uh twilight zone looking spiral scary stuff stuff like that <laughs> and we're gonna also need some blocks of choice like your wall block your flooring block and all that good stuff so once you've dug down your three and you got your one by 11 come to the bottom left hand side and come up a block right here and put a torch on top of it Next, we're going to put a four tick delay repeater going into that block with the torch on it. And then we're going to put a block behind our four tick delay repeater and then put, put dust here. So go down. I forget how much it is. Just go down to there until there's two blocks here at the end. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six line of dust all the way right here. Next, what I want you to do right here on the dust that is right behind this block, I want you to put a regular piston facing up like that. And this is where our door, like our little spiral area is going to go. So what I want you to do now is just make your three your three x three door. So pretty much all you have to do is go five blocks up from this piston. So one, two, three, four, five. Then come out four this way, one, two, three, four. Then come down four again, one, two, three, four. And then just connect it together. So now we got our three x three door. What we're going to do now is it's do not delete this block, but delete every other block on the corner. So delete this one, delete this one, and delete this one, and leave this bottom block right here. So it looks something like this. Next, what I want you to do is we're going to be putting in the rest of our pistons. So what we're going to do is just come out three blocks from this top left side from where our regular piston is right here. Come out three, one, two, three, delete these two, and put a regular piston facing towards us, going towards the door. And then on this side, we're going to go up a block from the top and put a regular piston facing downwards like that. So it looks something like this. And then on this one, we're going to come out three again. One, two, three, delete these two and put a piston facing this way and then delete it. Of course, those blocks are probably going to go back there, but I'm just deleting them for now. So now it looks something like this. Now we just have to hook up all the redstone to all these different pistons. So right off this torch over here, we're just going to make a torch tower going all the way up to here. So go make a torch tower going all the way up like that. Just make a blocks like this and then in between each block delete this one put a torch the torch goes off delete this one the torch stays on put another torch here and the torch goes off this makes a torch tower put a block up on top of this torch and then to the right of it going towards our piston like that next put a repeater here on four ticks delay now of course if you want to make it go faster guys if you do want to make it go faster go right ahead just all you have to do is uh, make these repeaters uh, faster like this i have them on the uh, largest setting the reason why i do this because on the console it pretty much makes these disappear while they're moving so it's kind of weird on the pc i'm pretty sure that doesn't happen but for now i just keep it this way guys but if you want to make it go faster go right ahead next what we're going to do is just bring a line of blocks down to this piston right here so just bring a line all the way down and all we're going to do is put dust going all along these blocks until we get right here and put a repeater on four ticks delay going into this piston. Put a block on top of the piston. Then we're going to come down a block, putting another four tick delay repeater right here with a block up in front of it like that. And then go a block down and then delete this middle block and put dust here. Next, put a torch coming off this block. Come two blocks down from this torch. So uh, one, two. 
put dust here and then a torch here the torch should go off then right behind this piston we're going to put a block with dust and we're going to put a torch here and then come two blocks down underneath this torch to so literally just put a block right here like that and then just delete this dust for now and then put a torch here with a dust piece of dust on top of it and the torch will go off and then put your dust back and that's it you made the whole entire spiral guys it is that easy so now if we put a block right here and just put a button we it should work so if we put a block here with a button on this line of dust and we click it it should work so oh you know what i forgot something never mind it shouldn't work should not work stop it hey stop it <laughs> hey no stop it there we go okay we missed something well i missed something what you have to do is right here off this block that the first torch is initially going into we're going to put a torch here and then put a block right next to this piston with some dust on it now now she'll work <laughs> so now if we click the button boop, it should work goes up over down over up over down over up you get you get the gist of it and then to turn it off let's just get rid of this block this is where we turn it off this is where this uh, sticky piston comes into play. So right here where this block is behind this four tick layer repeater, just put a sticky piston facing in towards the block like this. So now if we put any sort of power to this block behind it, it moves that sticky piston and that will turn it off. This is the turn off switch right here. So that's it guys, that's literally it. So now if we take out our blocks of choice and make this look a little better real quick, hold on one second. So I'm gonna take out my blocks of choice and what I like to do is just put a little row, uh, not row, wool. Where's my quartz? Where's the good stuff? There it is. We're gonna put a row of quartz at the beginning of it. And then of course, I'm gonna show you how to expand it out so it looks, well, of course you wanna expand it out. It's gonna look a little weird with just one little row like this spinning. <laughs> so there's our quartz. And then what I like to do is I like to put my button right here. Uh, let's see, we don't need the quartz anymore. So I, I usually I usually like keeping my button as close as possible, but you can put the turn off switch wherever you want, guys. I But I recommend leaving the button as close as possible. So usually I put the button right on the side of it like this, and then just bring the power from this right here. Just bring it down. Yeah, let's bring it down like that. So just boop, boop like that. So now I can turn it on from here. See? And then when I want to turn it off where this sticky piston is, I just put a lever and turn off. See? Turns it off. So now we're going to expand it out, obviously. That's the next step to this whole entire thing. So, you know, I'm going to use a different color, actually, to expand it out. It's very, very easy to expand it out. So right here where this line is for uh, this piston, this, the upwards piston, we just bring this line out 15. If you want to, you can go up to 15. So two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then all you literally have to do is just put dust all along these blocks and then just put pistons all facing upwards not downwards upwards like so and then the same thing with up here right here with this line of blocks are we're going to bring it all the way down so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen put dust all along these blocks did i go one too far i went one no i didn't go one too far ah put that back there we go and just put dust all along this line and then put pistons facing towards you inwards towards the door like so and then the same thing with this one right here where these blocks are we're gonna have to put dust on top of this block now and we're gonna have to expand it out all the way to 15 so i'm not even gonna count because literally all you have to do is now go as far as you did over here and then put dust all along these blocks and then put all the pistons facing it downwards and then last but not least this one over here just bring the blocks all the way down uh one too far there we go and then we're gonna put dust all along these and then put pistons facing inwards and then of course if you want whatever color you want your door to go if you want it super rainbow like this or you want a spiral or something go right ahead just all you have to do is follow this line right here and just fill in your door it's very easy you know just make another thing like this say i want yellow say i want black and yellow don't make fun of that <laughs> say if i wanted to do that and just keep going and going and going with every colors you want you want to make a spiral go right ahead and then if you want to expand it out even further than this all you have to do is literally come out one more block like this and then just put repeaters going this way like that and then make it go as go as far as you want guys it doesn't really matter but there you guys go that's how you build my spiral walkway if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys <laughs> peace